Slugs? Bullet travel? Wall destruction? This seems like such a change of pace from what we typically expect from weapons in the finals. But how does it hold up? I'm going to break down the stats of the gun and give you some recommended loadouts to complement the strength of the weapon, along with giving you my opinion on where it stands next to some of the other heavy weapons. For heavy class, specifically in higher elo, we see it quite heavily dominated by the SA-12-16 even after the nerfs, with some Lewis users here and there, and the rare spotting of the M60 growing in popularity. Let's take a look at these stats. The Lewis gun has a respectable TTK, and its main strength lies in its ability to pump out a ton of bullets at mid-range and is really strong in the hands of somebody with fantastic recoil control. However, the SA-12-16 has some insane stats and other choices don't even come close to its power. This thing also received a nerf and despite that, it is still the best pick in high elo. As of the time that I am recording this, the number one player on the leaderboards is a mesh shield SA-12 main. And next we have the M60 with some decent stats, but its main strength comes in having 70 bullets in the magazine, pumping out some insane damage without the need to reload. With the Lewis being a long range demon and the SA-12 being an absolute beast in close range, the M60 also just being a bullet hose, let's see how the KS-23 compares. The damage per slug is 100, the RPM is 73, giving it a pretty measly DPS of 122. You get 6 slugs per reload, giving us TTK values versus light of 0.82, versus mediums 1.64, and versus heavies 2.47. Putting this thing at one of the slowest TTKs in the game outside of stuff like the Sledge and the MGL, which themselves do have different playstyles. The sledge with the alt fire actually kind of negates this. This is only considering the left click. And then the MGL also does AOE. It's a grenade launcher. So again, it's a little bit different. Now, I think because of the ability to have a bunch of structure damage, this thing should be sitting near the bottom of TTK, in my opinion, because it does have some unique attributes of being able to destroy walls. But honestly, in high elo, this thing is basically never seen outside of the odd round one round two games where you just kind of want to troll a little bit the fall off damage starts at 18 ends at 23 and the fall off damage is 60. we also have the projectile speed to calculate so these ttks would technically be even lower because we also would have to consider the bullet travel you also need to be much more accurate and you need to predict movement so because of that this weapon becomes even worse than it sounds like on paper I don't think it's the worst weapon despite this, but it just doesn't provide the strength that you would want to see in your primary weapon as a heavy. I find with the changes that they did make to the KS-23 from the initial launch actually just made this weapon something that you're just constantly reloading. I spent most of the time in game basically just reloading this thing and not actually shooting people because you empty your clips so fast and it does very little damage. So you just reload slug by slug and it makes it pretty hard to play. As a frontline class, the weapon doesn't really complement that role, so you have to play more reserve. I personally think this weapon needs a buff. I was hoping to see some good players master this weapon and potentially make it shine, but I have yet to see that. I think when you are considering bringing in the KS-23, it might be best suited on a team where you're like medium heavy heavy, and you already have your SA-12 mesh on your team, and then you can bring in the KS-23. If you want to, I still don't think that's optimal, but that might be the best place for it to come in. I personally love the idea that Embark is adding more utility to weapons. These are the loadouts that I think complement the weapon quite well. My personal favorite is the Goo Gun with RPG, Barricade, and Anti-Grav. With the KS-23, you can open walls and even drop cash out, so you don't necessarily need the C4 here. You can also patch up those holes with the Goo Gun, or you can do the reverse of dropping a cash out by using the Anti-Grav. The barricade is a pretty nice touch because you can use it in order to crouch behind it, peek up, and then continuously rotate those crouches between each slug shot. This is a very fun combination. I find everything here complements each other quite well. The next is a take on the typical Lewis loadout, but you replace the Lewis with the KS-23. So that was actually a triple shield, a very defensive setup where you're bringing the barricade, 
the dome shield, and the mesh shield. I feel like this actually allows you to be a lot safer because you constantly have to reload this thing. So having all this cover to play behind can allow you to continuously reload while also kind of being in the front line. The KS-23 also brings that much needed destruction that you might not really getting with this specific loadout. Comment below what loadout you enjoy best with KS-23 and be sure to stick around for some KS-23 clips. Subscribe if you haven't already, I'm going to be covering all the new weapons in the future. Thank you to all my members and I will see you in the finals.